All right, hey, Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started, as always, I want to give all praise to our power, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakradash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutation and blessing to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, right? Those that believe wholeheartedly in this true doctrine that's being pushed throughout the four winds of the earth, who are all Israelites who are in hope of mercy and salvation in these last days during the time of Jacob's trouble, as well as when Yahweh Shai returns to the planet earth. Um, now, this, this video here will be uh, in transit. Um, I was watching this video here, a little quick two-minute video of uh, one of the, uh, the 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 who slash WEF representatives uh, daughter. All right, um, if you can, as you can see, the title: "The Urgency of a Global Green Transition" with Nicole Schwab. All right, and her father is uh klaus Schwab, all right um and i think i'm gonna entitle this uh work out your own salvation with fear and trembling and that's because uh with these edomites pressing towards their uh enterprise which they're not gonna fulfill but as we listen to this and I have an article that I want to bring out um, to marry, marry what she says exactly with this article. Um, shows that there's going to come a point to where you're going to have to display the faith that you have been given or lack thereof in the very near future. Okay? Because one thing's for certain. You know what I'm saying is that the Heavenly Father is going to uh, allow this man to uh, press the issue on his uh, new world order, his great reset, you know, his fourth industrial revolution, however you want to call it. But this, 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 this new transition, as they're calling it. Uh, a, a, an opportunity to transition into green, you know, they're going to make it sound um, like the next best thing, but really it's nothing more but uh, captivity digitally, all right? Digitally through the uh, CBDC, which they're talking about, that's going to be uh the size of a rice grain placed under your uh, uh your skin all right that's where you will receive all your finances that will have everything they need to know about you all right which the apostles and elders all the men underneath uh the bishops the brothers throughout the, the camps throughout the entire world we have been saying this all right and even before 0708 our elders and apostles were saying this was the technology that was going to be uh, introduced and it will be the MOTV, which is the mark of the beast. All right. And these devils, they're constantly having these meetings. Now, I don't know how, how long ago. Well, actually, yeah, it says here two years ago. Okay. Where she made this statement, which will put us in 2021. So we're two years past that. So you already know that the, the progression to their transitioning is in full effect, okay? Just because it hasn't hit you um, directly doesn't mean that, that they're not moving forward with their plans because something is coming down the pipe to where you will have to display your faith or just get down with what they're talking about, okay? So without any further ado, first, let me get the scripture real quick. 
because I want to, I want you to hear what, what, what this uh, woman says and how she hides wickedness under her tongue, how she hides deceit under her tongue, just like these Edomites do. All right. When they speak, you gotta, you, you gotta hear and listen to what they're talking about, man, because they hide their deceit and wickedness under their tongue, man. Okay. They talk to you like it's a, like it's a good thing. But in all actuality, it's the worst thing for you. Let's go here to, uh, yep, Job 20 and 12, okay? It says, though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, okay? And the way they speak, it sounds sweet, but it's pure wickedness, man, okay? It's pure wickedness. It's how these devils get down, man. Okay? Let's go to Psalms 10 real quick. And I'm going to play that video just to show you. And then I'm going to go to the article. All right? They're not going to tell you that this technology is referring to Revelation, the 13th chapter and the 16th verse. They're going to tell you that it's all convenient so that we can sustain a uh, 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 clean and, and, and green future, all right, which is all madness. This is Psalms, uh, uh, where'd it go? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 10, verse 7, all right? It says, his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud under his tongue is mischief and vanity all right now let's look at this video let's go back to youtube check this video out all right now pay attention to what she says okay see if you catch it crisis has shown us that, first of all, things can shift very rapidly when we put our minds to it and when we feel the immediate emergency to our livelihoods. And second, that um, clearly the system, I mean, you mentioned it earlier, that we had before is not sustainable. So I see it as a tremendous opportunity to really to have this great reset and to use this huge flows you know, of money to use the increased levers that policymakers have today in a way that was not possible before to create a change that is not incremental but that we can look back and we can say, this is the moment where we really started to position. Did you catch what she said? If not, let's go to the transcript and I'll show you what she said, all right? We're gonna go to about the 34 second mark, all right? Uh, actually, 31. All right. She said, use this huge flows, you know, of money to use the increased levers that policymakers have today in a way that was not possible before to create a change that is not incremental, but that we can look back. And we can say this is the moment where we really started to position, you know, the nature of the core of the economy. All right. <laughs> now, without understanding any meaning of words and what the hell uh, society has come to, you wouldn't know what the hell she was talking about. You would think she's on to something good because it sounds good. That's the wickedness and the deceit under their tongue. All right. But when you dissect what this demon just said, she's basically talking about a, a, a society where everybody is on the equal playing field. And they have total control. That the pilot uh, uh, with the policies that are in place. All right. Which the major policy that they want in place is the RFID technology. All right. 
Now she said to 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 make a change that is not incremental. Increments. All right? The word increments or incremental means to gain. Meaning they want to make a change to where the average person doesn't have that ability to gain. All right? They're going to give you a universal basic income. They're going to give you your allowances. And they will take away what they feel needs to be taken away. And how are they going to be able to do that? Through the micro C hip, the RFID technology. All right? That's how. And this is what she's talking about. This is what the Great Reset is talking about. This is why her father said, you will own nothing and be happy. She said, a, a change, she said, a change that, uh, uh, a way that was not, oh, I'm sorry, it says, to create a change that is not incremental, but that we can look back, all right, on how, how they, you know, the position. But the point being, she said, a change that is not incremental, meaning you don't have the opportunity to gain, to get ahead, all right? Not the average person, all right? Not you on the bottom, because who's at this meeting she's at? Who's in there? Who's representing the so-called Negro? Oh, these are Edomites calling the shots for what they going what what they plan for the uh for the rest of the earth rest of the world man these are all edomites in here with this woman when you when you look at the wef and the who the representatives of these uh uh uh, uh, uh groups are all edomites man okay so their plan is is digital slavery okay though wickedness be sweet in his mouth but he going they gonna hide it under their tongue man okay this is why the scriptures tell us to never trust our enemy as iron rusted so does his wickedness all right i'm gonna let this play uh the rest out all right but she's referring to the digital slavery that they want to put the, the the masses in all right after they kill off a lot of people okay this is that uh change that is not incremental she's talking about okay meaning you ain't gonna be able to earn no extra increments no extra uh funds no extra money in in the in in the society and the change that they want to bring you're going to get what they give you. And if you don't like it, too bad. You want to buck up against it, they're going to turn your chip off. You don't want to get the chip, you can't uh, you can't uh, buy or sell, as the scriptures say. You won't be able to maneuver in society. That's how we know that this man is going to, uh, the Heavenly Father is going to allow this man to uh, make a push for this thing. All right? Because the scriptures say, that he calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, all right? And that ye might not buy or sell, save he that had the mark, all right? So they're going, the, the, the Lord is going, is putting the spirit in them to uh, push for this thing, all right? For it to go uh, uh, live, so to speak, Okay? So I'm going to let this play a little bit more and I'm going to go to the article. Nature at the core of the economy. Taking the point of view of, of business and the economy and looking at where are there opportunities to create jobs and regenerate nature. And there are plenty of opportunities. And this is, again, a mindset of actually innovation, technology, and, you know, uh, a business growth can happen with a positive impact of nature and kind of laying innovation technology let's look up that word innovation let's look that up real quick innovation 
uh, restoration, renewal, all right? So their innovation technology is talking about their their form their uh 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 micro c hip that they want under the flesh of every human every person mainly you israelites as they establish their uh new world order okay that's what they're talking about man that's what she's talking about her father is klaus schwab you will own nothing and be happy all right and they saying that this innovation technology will restore society in itself or will, will restore and renew society in itself mainly here in america and the different poor countries around the world see they gonna make it sound like it's the next the next best thing it's, go, it's, it's better than sliced bread but truly indeed it's a one-way ticket and a VIP seat to nuclear destruction. That's what it truly is. But the devil won't tell you that. Okay? So let's go back. Hang out some of these examples. And regenerative agriculture is, of course, a huge part of that as well. And one of the key um, reflection points here is also around engaging youth. And for me, it's again, I come back to this shift in mindset of the restoration generation. Can we conceive of ourselves as humans? I mean, you talked about a new humanity. I think you mentioned it, right? Can we conceive our, of ourselves as a restoration generation? I think that's where we need to go. I'm also hopeful that it's possible, but I think it will take a lot of um, will, both political will, but also in terms of the business actors to break with business as usual but in a very serious way and to say we need to make very difficult choices there are trade-offs but this is our chance and other and this is about risk and it's about resilience because the shocks are coming are going to be even worse if we don't know, do it now and the risk that they're talking about is the risk of a lot of people being uh deemed as uh and this is just one of the risks uh my man that mo he ain't my man but this dude noah yuval harari or yuval noah harari he deemed uh the people that's that's not down with this innovation technology are going to be deemed as the useless class all right and that's going to be a lot of people a part of this useless class and this is why we know that there will be uproars of the people the people not just gonna stand by and let these uh edomites do what they please all right you're gonna have other edomites bucking up against this system man all right so let me pull that article real quick all right now this article i found it uh you know pretty intriguing um on how it actually goes with exactly what she's saying right because this is where they want they want society to go all the way digital all right now the uh the title of this article cbdc's and we know what that's all about man all right just put motbs all right MOTBs as a weapon to debank the banked. All right. Now I'm going to read these first three paragraphs basically give you exactly what you need to know. And then down here, um, you know, it just goes into a different type of uh, the risk that it, uh, that this uh, technology poses. But I'm going to read this. It says, if implemented as planned, CBDCs will end federalism, crush the U.S. Constitution, destroy the existing banking financial system, and slam dunk technocracy into place. And this is what she's talking about. All right? This is exactly what she's talking about. It's going to get rid of all the so-called freedoms that you American people 
uh, took pride in, all right? You took pride in all this so-called freedom you have, the Constitution, the founding fathers, this, that, and the third, which is all bullshit to the Israelites. But the point being is, when this CBDC is uh, the only way you're going to be able to buy or sell, when it's uh, instituted as a, 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 a micro C-hip under the flesh, that's what she meant when she said a, a, a change that does not um, a change that does not have increment incre, incre, a change with without incremental uh, status, so to speak. Roughly paraphrasing what she said earlier. So totally total control where you can gain no increments other than what you're allotted from them. All right. There will be no. Uh, 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 as it is now, so to speak. Everybody will be on the same playing field except for the the rich 1% because they're going to control this thing. Okay? If, you, if you're not up there in the upper echelon, and I ain't talking about entertainers that got money, they got millions, you're going to be down here with the, with the, uh, with the poor folks too because there's going to be two classes in their new world order that's what they want just two classes the rich and the poor all right this is why you've seen the middle class get wiped out uh in, in the year 2020. so going back to the article it says you don't want to go along with this you will be debanked defunded and thrown out of economic life until you decide to comply all right see the same thing uh klaus schwab's daughter is saying but she's saying it, you know what I'm saying, as if it's a good thing to help society. But whoever put this article together is saying it as this is the end of so-called freedom, if this if, if this is allowed. Okay, it says, uh, it's a roundabout way to say inclusive. All right, down here it says, in March of 2022, President Biden signed an executive order directing government agencies to urgently research and develop potential U.S. central bank digital currency. Now, remember this, all right? In a matter that protects Americans' interests, which is all BS, it also encouraged the Federal Reserve Bank to continue doing so, and it isn't just the Biden administration in the U.S. working in such a direction. As of the time, of writing CBDC tracking dot or list three countries or or regions with re retail CBDCs already launched the Bahamas, Jamaica, and Nigeria. And that's a fact. All right. That's a fact right now. Another five in pilot stage and another 20 in proof of concept. It says uh in proof of concept concept stage many more have at least one research wholesale cbdc wholesale cbdc's are intended for commercial and central bank use and the like while the retail cbdc's are intended for the rest of the u.s okay for the rest of us i'm sorry it says it says a report by the Bank for International Settlements released just this month summarizes the results of a survey of 86 central banks and, and concludes that there could be 15 retail and nine wholesale CBDC publicly circulating in 2030. Which they gon' they gon' they gonna push for this thing before so called twenty thirty. They are already pushing for it. And like Apostle Tahar say, man, we're we're months away from this thing going live, man. To where they're gonna they're gonna actually require this technology in order for you to operate in society. Okay? It says when you read the statements from high level officials of the BIS central banks and governments you get the impression 
that CBDCs are an, ex, are an exciting development in the evolution of, of money. And that's exactly what they want you to think. It's an exciting development when really it's nothing more than a trap. It's shackles that they're going to uh, convince you to put on yourself or deceive you. I ain't going to say convince, but deceive you to put on yourself. Okay? Um, it says the, the BIS, for example, calls them a new tool in the financial inclusion toolkit. An op-ed co-authored by BIS general manager Augustine Carsons and Queen Maxima of the Netherlands. And we know who over there in the Netherlands, man. Them is elite Edomites, all right? Those are elite Edomites doing the bidding for the elite bankers, all right, that's calling the shots behind the scene. It says, of the Netherlands frames them in the title as CBDCs for the people. An IMF working paper asserts that CBDCs can bank large unbanked populations in developing countries. All right. So in other words, CBDCs can be given to these undeveloped countries under their skin, man. All right. And, and, and can bring them into the, the world of economics. Eat them Esau's way. That's what it's all about, man. It ain't about helping the people and, and uh, you know, developing a, a, a country that, that's less fortunate. It's about uh, putting people in captivity, man. That's what it's all about. Let's get a couple more scriptures. So you can't be ignorant. And when these things roll out, like I said, you're going to have to work out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling. Okay? You're going to have to, when they when they, when they they implement the chip, that's when your faith is going to have to be on 10. All right? That's when you're going to really have to put all trust, hope in Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, man. All right? And it don't matter if you're being taught by uh, uh, someone that's saying that it's not the uh, digital technology, it's not the uh, CHIP, because look at society in itself, all right? Uh, uh, Ezra said, measure the time diligently in itself. Where is society going? Are they are they talking about you ain't going to be able to buy or sell uh, because you don't, uh, commit sin in front of us. We need to see you commit sin. Eat this piece of pork, and then you can you eat this pork, and you can take that uh, gallon of milk. No. What they what what it's talking about is is having you comply to put that under your flesh. All right. To put that CBDC under the flesh. This is the book of Psalms 109. And um, verse 17 and 18. Okay. It says, as he loved cursing, so let it come unto him. As he delighted not in blessing, so let it be far from him. As he clothed himself with cursing, like as with his garments, so let it come into his bowels like water and like oil into his bones, all right? So everything that this man is trying to do is going to backfire and it's going to be uh, 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 put on him. He's the one that's going to go into captivity, all right? But like I said, before, before he's able, or before Yahweh Shai returns, the Lord is going to allow this man to bring this scripture to pass, all right? Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that's gonna come in the form of the CBDCs. That's what they're calling it right now. They could change it up and call it something else, all right? But they're getting you used to hearing CBDC and that's, that it's a digital currency. 
and uh, Richard Warren said that this CBDC is the size of a rice grain and it shall go under the flesh. And he got that from a, a, a an insider, an elite banker. This is what he was told, all right? Just like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Am, the apostles always bring him up. Uh, the guy that did uh, Trade in Places. Damn, what's his name, man? He did the interview with Alex Jones, and he basically said that uh, Nick Rockefeller told him that we want everybody chipped. Aaron Russo, Aaron Russo, all right? Same thing that was told to Aaron Russo was told to Richard Warren, but Richard Warren got the insight that it's the CBDC that's going to actually be the CHIP, all right? So with this technology, they're going to cause everybody to receive it. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right? So you won't be able to operate in society. All right? You heard Klaus Schwab's daughter. She said this is an opportunity to make a change that's not incremental. Meaning you won't be able to gain out of this change. You're going to be locked dead in. You're going to get whatever they're going to give you a month. And if you, you, you get out of line, they can turn your, uh, your, your chip off. And if you don't have a chip, you're just going to be outside of society. All right. Let me get this real quick. Oh, you know what? Let me go here in the book of Luke, the sixth chapter. Bear with me a little bit. So when these when these things begin to roll out, you gotta have your Howard Shy within you, all right? Because they will roll these things out. They're having meetings, world meetings, all this. All right? Even the BRICS nations have developed a digital currency because they're all in this thing together. All right? This is the book of uh, Luke chapter 6. And I'm going to start at 47. It says, Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my saying and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man was built in house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. And these are those that have taken heed to the to the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. How do you take heed to the words? First, you gotta you gotta get the true understanding of the word. You gotta go to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai's prophets. The prophets are the ones that's gonna give you the word and you're gonna take heed to. All right. It says, uh, and when the flood arose, because the flood is getting ready to rise, the flood represents all hell breaking loose in society. And the only way that you're going to get some so-called uh, relief, uh, uh, false sense of security, is by complying as they want you to. Okay? So the flood is getting ready to arise, and you got to be built on your Yahweh Shai in order for you to stand. All right? It says, and when the flood and when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. And that's the members of the elect that know and and and, and the most high has opened up their eyes to see what the hell is truly going on and what's coming down the pipe. All right. Who won't be all messed up when 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 all bank accounts go to zero. All right. Because we've been waiting for it. This is this is what's what the what the scriptures is talking about. They're gonna create a a, a a system to where you won't be able to buy or sell without that mark. You won't be able to exist without that mark. Okay? Verse 49. But he that heareth and doeth not, and you got a lot of you Israelites, you hear what the real prophets are saying, but you ain't taking heed. This is what's gonna happen to you. 
but he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without the without a foundation built in house upon the earth against which the stream did beat vehemently when all hell breaks loose it's going to beat vehemently right and immediately it fell and the ruin of that house was great and that's going to be a lot of israelites because they didn't take heed they didn't want to listen they scoffed they mocked all right the bible ain't real or the the the, the c hip is not that all you jakes out there all right it's gonna be well said and and well known who was really pushing the true doctrine of yahweh by shimmy i was shy and warning the people and a lot of you your house when it so like your phone call cut me off but uh like i was saying a lot a lot of you jakes out there when when this when this thing rolls out a lot of your houses will be uh will fall and they will fall great all right your mind is not going to be able to uh be stable because you didn't take heed and and ultimately you're going to give in to receiving the micro c here all right that's what's ultimately going to happen to you now let me get this last scripture of what i entitled it fear and trembling all right Pulling up to this damn police station. This is Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. All right, it says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling point blank period because you're you're responsible for your own soul you can't say well uh i wasn't taught that that was it all right well that means you were following a false prophet and that's on you you got to know the difference between he who serves the lord and he who doesn't so with that man giving all praise to y'all by shimmy i was shy and it's on to the next video shalom